If you've noticed a lot of headlines about famous people passing away due to heart attacks, heart failure, and things like that, you're not imagining it. Most people don't realize this, but heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States today. And here's the part you might find really surprising. It has been the number one cause of death every year for the past 103 years straight. In this video, in memory of all those people, we're going to highlight and pay tribute to 12 of the notable people we've lost to heart-related causes in the past year. And we're going to let you know how you can help support people who are fighting heart disease. The Iron Sheik was one of the greatest pro wrestlers ever, a powerful athlete and an incredible entertainer. But behind the iconic mustache was a very human man. The heavyweight champion right before Hulk Hogan, the Sheik died of a heart attack last June at the age of 81. He had been suffering from congestive heart failure and hypertension. Both family and fans mourned the loss of this remarkable man, whose real-life immigrant journey from Iran to America didn't just make him a legend, but a dearly loved husband, father, and grandfather. Lynette Hardaway was one of the most prominent YouTubers of the MAGA movement, as one half of the political sister duo Diamond and Silk. She died in January 2023 at the age of just 51. Her death certificate showed her cause of death as heart disease due to chronic high blood pressure. The daughter of two televangelists from North Carolina, Hardaway found a larger audience across the nation. At her memorial service, President Trump called her one of the world's brightest stars. Music fans across Texas were in mourning last fall when they heard of the passing of Charlie Robison, the spirited singer-songwriter whose hits included I Want You Bad and My Hometown. He died September 10th after suffering cardiac arrest, a family representative told the Associated Press. Robison's unique sound, always following his own muse, inspired fans and his fellow musicians alike and they were touched to see him honored in memoriam at this year's Grammys. When Ryan O'Neill died in December, it was a sad farewell to one of Hollywood's most famous leading men of the 1960s and 70s. O'Neill passed away at the age of 82 of congestive heart failure, following years suffering with cardiomyopathy, a disorder of the heart muscle. His artistic legacy spans the decades, from Peyton Place, Love Story, and Barry Lyndon, all the way up to the 2000s, when he was a favorite guest star on the police drama Bones. Actress Lisa Montel captured hearts in adventure films and westerns of the 1950s, before dedicating her later life to public service through the Baha'i faith. She died in March at 89 of heart failure and sepsis, which is a serious infection-related condition that can exacerbate existing heart issues. Montel's best-known work includes the science fiction cult classic World Without End and the Dean Martin film 10,000 Bedrooms. Pro wrestling star Wyndham Rotunda was better known by his ring name, Bray Wyatt a third-generation wrestler who played the head of the WWE's Wyatt family. He was just 36 when his pre-existing heart conditions were worsened by a bad bout with COVID, and he died of a heart attack in August. Wyatt came from a family of wrestlers, including his father, Mike Rotunda, and his grandfather, Black Jack Mulligan. He wrestled alongside his brother, Taylor. Harry Belafonte's career as a singer, actor, and activist touched the lives of millions, both through his joyful music and through his passionate devotion to human rights. He died in April at the age of 96 of congestive heart failure, a long-term condition that weakens the heart's ability to pump enough blood. Belafonte's gorgeous voice brought calypso music to the world and rang out just as loud in his humanitarian work including 
organizing the We Are the World charity. The world didn't recognize it at the time, but Gloria Day broke new ground in 1941 when she became the first magician to perform on the Las Vegas Strip, setting the stage for the city's future. She passed away at 100 of coronary heart disease, the most common type of heart disease in the United States, with over 370,000 deaths a year. In Day's later years, the stage magic community rediscovered and celebrated her historic career, including her appearances in cult classic films like Plan 9 from Outer Space. Houston rapper Milton Powell Jr. was best known by his stage name, Big Pokey. He was just 48 when he suffered a heart attack while on stage. An autopsy showed that he had hypertensive and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Big Pokey was an original member of the Houston hip hop collective Screwed Up Click, who pioneered the unique musical sound called Chopped and Screwed. Sports broadcaster Tim McCarver had one of the best known voices in baseball, calling 23 World Series, more than any other broadcaster in history. The Hall of Fame commenter died at 81 of heart failure, a progressive condition. The American Heart Association estimates that six and a half million Americans over the age of 20 suffer some degree of heart failure. McCarver's insightful commentary and vast knowledge of baseball made him a mainstay for generations of fans and earned him Sports Broadcasting Hall of Fame honors. Mexican singer, actress, and politician Irma Serrano was often called La Tigresa thanks to her vivacious personality and big presence on stage and screen. She passed away at the age of 89 after suffering from a heart attack. In Mexico, coronary heart disease has increased 90% since 1970. Serrano's legacy goes beyond the entertainment world. In the 1990s, she entered politics and became a senator for her home state of Chiapas. Seven-time NBA All-Star Willis Reed dominated on the basketball court in the 1960s and 70s as a center for the New York Knicks. Reed died of heart failure on March 21, 2023, at the age of 80. Reed was the NBA's most valuable player in 1970. Later, as an executive for the New Jersey Nets in the 90s and 2000s, he helped the team become championship contenders. This year, the American Heart Association marks 100 years of investing in research to fight heart disease you can support the AHA directly simply by clicking the Donate button on this video's YouTube page. Every Friday here on Legacy's channel, we bring you the latest obituary news that's making headlines. Hit subscribe to follow us and be notified weekly as our tributes go live. And if your family should need to publish an obituary for a loved one, just visit Legacy.com where you can submit an obituary for publication not only online, but in local newspapers all across America and beyond. Thanks for watching.